Hi there, everyone. I'm meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Well, unfortunately, it's going to be another very cold night out there, but it's the last frigid night we should be contending with at least for the next week. Obviously, there could be more down the road considering winter's far from over. So don't forget you want to slow drip your faucets tonight to keep your pipes from freezing. And something that's easy to forget is to close the crawl spaces under your house. I know I've definitely been guilty of that. So uh, easy to forget and you want to make sure you close those uh, vents. Watch out for icy roads. You know, no surprise, any little bit of melting that we did see out there today, that will actually refreeze and there will be lots of ice on the roads as we head into tomorrow morning. So if you do have to go back to work, Keep that in the back of your mind. And of course, you want to keep your pets indoors as well. Clearly, the dogs need to go out for a couple minutes, but just don't let them stay out for very long. Now, we did actually tie our record low last night of 13 degrees at Norfolk International. The record low is 13 again tonight, set back in 1970. And I'm forecasting a record or a forecasting a low of about 10 degrees. So it's possible we may tie or break it once again. And we've actually been talking about the potential for record breaking cold nights for three nights in a row. And that's not something we talk about very often. Now, our average high for this time of year is 48 degrees. It's great to finally see 40s and 50s back in the forecast. 45 degrees are expected high tomorrow. We'll be in the upper 40s on Tuesday, making a run for 50 degrees Wednesday. And then by Thursday, we'll be in the upper 50s, closing in on 60 degrees. So it's going to feel great out there this week and Mother Nature is actually going to help us out and melt a lot of the snow because clearly the plow truck drivers haven't necessarily been able to get to the secondary or the neighborhood roads yet. So the fact that Mother Nature can help us out a little bit is great. Here's a look at our future track forecast. We'll be mainly clear as we go through the overnight hours and by tomorrow morning, starting off with a decent amount of sunshine, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds develop through the morning hours. But then going through the second half of the day, you can see more clouds move in in advance of a cold front that is going to drop in as we go into Monday night. And as you can see, it is going to bring some rain showers along for the ride. So we're looking at some rain showers Monday night, which will also contribute to the melting out there. But then the rain showers are gone by the time we get to Tuesday. And the great news is with this frontal boundary moving through, it's not going to drag in that cold Canadian air behind it. It's actually not going to affect temperatures whatsoever. For tonight, we'll drop to about 8 degrees in Newport News, 6-year overnight low in Melfa, 10 in Currituck, and notice farther inland will likely be near 0 in Suffolk and Ahoskie and minus 2 in Wakefield. Tomorrow, finally back in the 40s where we should be for this time of year. 46 degrees in Virginia Beach, 45 in Suffolk, 46 in Newport News, and 42 degrees in Melfa. 50 on Wednesday with lots of sunshine. Thursday, we'll throw a few more clouds into the forecast with some rain showers developing late in the day, and that rain will likely continue into Friday. But notice, Friday is actually going to be the warmest day of the week with highs in the mid-60s.